here we are coming into the greenhouse. Let's have a look at the greenhouse and show you some of the features of this great greenhouse. Very, very nice. Well, here we are inside. How good is this? Got a whole lot of silver beet growing here. We've got gravel beds there. And I just want to point out to you that when we're here filming this, it's just right at the end of winter. So there's obviously a changeover going of new spring crops going in. It'll be mostly lettuce and that kind of thing. Up the middle here, we've got a whole lot of peppers that are about to be replanted again, fresh spring plantings, but they've served him very, very well. He was just telling me before on the phone that he sells all the peppers he can grow to uh, even some mobile barbecue people that will buy everything that he grows. How good is that? Here we've got our good old fashioned, reliable, never let you down media beds. Look at that, good, good 20 millimeter or three quarter inch gravel. Auto siphon device over here. Here's our water inlet for each bed. You can see it's coming in here. Look at that. And you'll notice that the water is, is being done correctly. It's coming in below the surface. So we don't lose anything from evaporation. Very, very good. All ready for planting, ready for the new spring and summer crops that he's going to put in. Beautiful microgreens. Have a look at this now. There's a really good example of well-grown, beautiful microgreens. Let me just show you close up to the camera. Beautiful. Notice a good trick here. See the cleanliness of the roots. That shows that his filtration is working extremely well. You don't need any scientific tests to tell you if your filtration is working well. Look at the roots of your plants. Look how clear they are. And in the aquaponics design course, we've got a whole section on that. Uh, we filmed at a farm in Hong Kong to talk to you about the cleanliness of the roots and what it tells you about your aquaponics system. And look at these beautiful microgreens. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely? You can snip that off and sell them. Big demand for good quality microgreens. Lettuce is such a reliable crop. You can sell it anywhere. Now this particular greenhouse is right next door to a brewery, you know, one of those boutique brewery type things where people like to go for a Saturday or a Sunday lunch. And he was telling me earlier that he just can't grow enough lettuce to supply this brewery. Isn't that fantastic? They're always, they take everything he can grow. And what, what a great little business that is. And here we've got some beautiful oak leaf lettuce, a couple of different varieties of lettuce. And remind you, I'll point you out once again, this is just changeover crop time, but still, there's good crops growing in here. More up this end, beautiful red lettuce. So you can imagine a beautiful salad with uh, all the different colors of lettuce in it and tossed, very appetizing, very, very nice. I just want to point out to you once again, the quality of the workmanship that this student has done. Now this student has obviously used to good effect the plants that we offer you in the course and that is the Indy 11.5 which has got all the construction details on how to make these kind of wood and fiberglass beds with liner. But look at this, this is a really good addition. These scaffolds here and you can see the wires with the, with the cords hanging on them. This is all ready for a tomato crop because you know you want to be able to suspend the tomato. But look at the quality of the construction. It's very, very well thought out and it works really, really well and so neat. While we're talking about that, I want to point out to you the pipework here in the greenhouse. Once again, I know I keep raving on about the neatness of the place, but it's just beautiful. Here's this pipework coming, bringing water from the header tank way over there in the, in the fish shed. And it's come underground all the way to here. And here you can see the beautiful pipework. This is 90 millimeter pipe or three and a half inch pipe that brings the bulk water over. And then we break it down into um, 16 or 18 millimeter pipe with a nice valve on it that regulates the flow of water into the media bed. And of course, at the other end of the media bed, we've got the auto siphon, and that dumps out on the other side to an equally nice, neat uh, three and a half or 90 millimeter pipe that goes back to the sump that we pointed out to you before. Once again, if you build your farm and you build it neatly and you build it well, it will serve you for years. And it's not that hard to do.